Hey guys, I got a great project this time. I'm gonna be making a uh, green and green inspired credenza. No, wait, I always forget. No, it's not that. It's this. It's a little propeller. Oh, it's also this. It's two projects. It's a snapper. You get not just one, but two projects in one video. <laughs> you just try to find a better deal than that. <laughs> To make my magic propeller, I'm going to start with a 3 8 inch dowel. And what I need to do is just cut a series of V-shaped grooves into it. And so what I've decided to do, and you could just use a knife or a saw or whatever you want to do, is I've got a V-point bit on my router and I've set up this you know, really high-tech system <laughs> where I've taken a, a real thin piece of dowel so that when I cut one groove I can just lock it in there, cut the next groove over and over, kind of like you would on finger joints. Now I've got a quarter inch diameter uh, dowel that I'm going to use for the propeller and I'm just going to drill a small hole into it. Then a small nail can fit into that hole and spin. The trick is going to be to find the exact center. I may have to sand down sides to make sure that I get it, you know, perfectly balanced. It doesn't look like it is right now. I'm going to give this a bit more of a propeller shape using my belt sander. Well, I think I got that about as balanced as I'm going to get. It seems to spin pretty freely. So I have drilled another small hole in the end of this dowel, and now I'm just going to attach the propeller. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now comes the totally cool part. What you do is you give this to somebody and you challenge them to get the propeller to spin just by rubbing this other dowel along the ratchet. And well, as you'll notice, it doesn't do much. But wait, I have the secret <laughs> to making it spin. All right, check this out. Uh, propeller, spin, please spin. Whoa. And now, propeller, spin the other way. <laughs> yeah, I can go that way, and I can even come back the other way. At my command, that propeller spins. <laughs> well, there's actually, of course, there's a trick to it, and, well, the trick is how you hold this uh, thinner dowel here. Is If you just rub it this way, the propeller really won't do much. But what you do is you keep one finger along the side of it and you rub it on the ratchet part at the same time and it'll spin. And if you want it to get going uh, the opposite direction, you do the same thing except with your thumb. You rub your thumb against that side and ratchet it on. <laughs> that thing is so cool. I have no idea how it works. I'm sure there's, you know, physics <laughs> involved. Uh, but, you know, it's enough for me to say, wow, that's a pretty neat little project. <laughs> All right, to make the snapper, all I did is drill a hole as deep as I could into a three-quarter inch square uh, piece of wood. Now, I have a shorter piece here that I just want to make a little pointed area on. Now, I've got my two pieces. I've got the hole in this one, and this one I've also drilled a shallower hole and I've got a quarter inch dowel and I've cut a little notch on the bottom of that to grab the rubber band and I'll just wedge this in, you know, about like that so that it'll slide into there. And a hole all the way through so that I can put the rubber band in there. So I've passed my rubber band through there and tied a knot on each side so it goes all the way through the hole. Now, of course, the trick here is to give this to a person and tell them to uh, grab the rubber band with that notch so that it will spring back amazingly like you can do by, you have to work with it, and, oh, I got it, and then you pull it out and of course it'll just snap back in every time because that rubber band has such, you know, pulling power on it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cheesy. Yeah, of course, there's no way you can grab the rubber band because it's actually further down than the notch. 
Uh, but, you know, I guess a lot of people will fall for it. Um, no, I don't think anybody would fall for it. <laughs> but it's still kind of fun to play with. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. It's snapping. Woo, hey, there it goes. <laughs> okay, I, I totally take back what I just said. <laughs> I just, I just went up into the house and uh, gave this to both my son and my wife to try out. And you know, I showed it to him and look, you grab it and it snaps back. And <laughs> neither one of them could figure out how to do it. They were trying and trying. So hey, maybe it does work. Um, I want to thank Michael McCaddy who sent me the idea for this and he actually uh, did a really neat SketchUp design, a better version of it than this one and I'll put that on my website so you can actually take a look at that and you know make your own snapper. <laughs> well there you have it, your two projects in one. You get your propeller and your little snapper thing. <laughs> hey, a couple of cool kind of little magic tricks, little gimmicks that you can uh, give to somebody and have fun with it. It'll take you an hour to make both of those <laughs> together, all right? And you can do them in the green and green style if you like. <laughs> I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe little bitty dovetails. <laughs> okay, uh, visit me at my website, woodworkingformeremortals.com for more of this woodworking insight. <laughs>